in a small room at the top of the West Stand at Elland Road, overlooking the car park where Brian Clough once invited the great Leeds United team of the 1970s to put all their proverbial pots and pans in a dustbin. Gareth Southgate reflected on the approach that has taken him this far. It was late on Thursday and his family were waiting for him downstairs after the win over Costa Rica. In the last two days before the England team reconvened on Saturday evening he had promised himself, in no particular order, a haircut, a long walk with the dogs and a few hours watching his son play cricket. In the glow of a good performance, England's young manager was allowing himself to be open about the young squad in which he feels such pride. He talked about how he has asked them to take part in exercises that have been a good few paces out of his own comfort zone, chuckling as he imagined their internal responses. Sometimes I think, they are never going to have a go at this, he said breaking into a laugh. And at times they are painstakingly putting up with the things that I throw their way. He has asked them to be open about their backstories, in private and in public, and if that sounds like the trendy young teacher he is Gareth to his players, not boss, then his attitude is, quite frankly, who cares? Whatever Southgate does, he has at least tried to do it differently and if this England team succeeds or fails in Russia then it will do so on his terms. He has thought hard about trying to establish a connection with this group of young players which puts their life experience at the center of the exercise, rather than them simply submitting to becoming another part of the history of the last 52 years of the national team.